All right, so the first three layers, I have adjusted the, the lighting and the color. Now I move on to kind of the first problem layer. And that's right here, this rock. But as I zoom into that, I can see that there are problem layers here as well. This crystal doesn't have enough yellow or red in it. So I want to show you how you can be even more targeted in your color. And I could say that this crystal doesn't have enough contrast in it. So once you've done your initial run through, you can always go back. And I'll start with the, the rose crystal here. And you can even adjust it again. And I can go back to levels and just give it a little bit of a goose in its darks. Because as you shift colors, that will, that will also shift the levels a little bit because different color temperatures have different inherent values. And then for this one, the values are good, the levels are good. I wanna actually go to hue saturation and this time I'm gonna do a targeted saturation. So instead of going to master, I'm gonna go just to the red and I'm gonna up just the reds and then maybe brighten them a little bit. And then I'm gonna go just to the yellows. Maybe brighten those a little bit. Then I can go just to the magentas and maybe take, shift that from being so purple and push it to be a little bit rustier. Then I can go right to the reds. So using the range, you can select your individual color and bring out certain elements, right? So from that to this is a pretty big difference. Okay, so now this rock, first of all, I was thinking of getting rid of it because it obviously doesn't fit in, but it's filling in some important area. First of all, without it, I have what's called a tangency in the design that I don't like where the foreground is very, very close and touching the middle ground. And that makes them seem closer together than I want them to be. So this rock allows for some visual separation. Whoops, I just did the Command T instead of the Control T on my uh, Mac. So I wanna transform it and to do that, on my Mac, I use Control T, but I can also go to Edit, Free Transform. And I'm gonna stretch it a little bit. To make sure it covers the area I want it to cover. Maybe tilt it a little bit. Maybe even warp it a little bit. And now instead of getting it to stand out as a separate rock element, which I don't need, it doesn't really have the focus to support, I'm gonna make this blend in with the midground. So this is like a patch. So what I wanna do is work with its coloring so it matches this middle ground kind of yellow. So that the foreground comes out in front of it. So what do I start with? I start with levels. So its levels seem pretty close to right. I just want to check them. And yeah, I don't want them super bright because I don't want it to come forward. But maybe I can darken the midtones a little bit. In fact, this has an opposite problem with the, the levels from the foreground. It has these dark sparks that are really dark. So 
If you want to increase your contrast, you use the sliders in the histogram. If you want to limit the contrast, you use the sliders on this value range here in levels. So if I want to limit the amount of darks that are possible, I drag this over. You know, and it's it's kind of like taking away contrast. I don't want to limit them too much, but I might want to limit them just a little bit, like that. Same thing with the highlights. If you want to limit the highlights and kind of dull the brightness contrast, I can just take the edge off of the highlights limits that are possible. So that narrows the histogram. And I didn't make a duplicate of this because I know I don't want what I had, you know. But if I want to be really safe, I can make a duplicate of it. And I think I'm going to be erasing away from edges. Okay, next I'm going to play with. Well, you can see the difference that those levels made. Just subtle, but took a little bit of that contrast out. Next, I'm gonna do image adjustments for the color temperature. And this will be pretty dramatic because I'm shifting it from blues to yellows. So color balance. I'm gonna start with the midtones. And I'm going to up the red and the green. And those two light primaries together. You see how it's starting to match the background? Will give me more of that yellow. But I can also do that by taking down the blue. Yeah, so now those color, that color range, that color temperature feels the same. And I could adjust it further with highlights and with shadows, but I don't think I really need to. The reason I start with the foreground is because that's where color and contrast matters most. And then things start to work more towards the middle as we get uh, further and further back from the viewer. Okay, now I can try saturation, but I don't want anything too dramatic there. My computer is really starting to slow down. So remember, you can always save as a PSD and then restart photo key. But if I really up the saturation, that's not what I want. Right? So I can up it a little bit. Yeah, that's just as red. You want to do, I want to take it back to master. So maybe about to there. And now you see that this definitely fits in a color more with the mid, the mid range, the, the middle ground, than it does with the foreground. This is before I did anything. With levels, color balance, and desaturation, and this is after. Now it doesn't solve all my problems. Now I have to kind of blend it in. So this is where I'm going to use my eraser, and because I'm blending soft, I'm going to set the tool to be rather long. It's zero percent white, and a hundred percent opacity. So I'm going to get rid of the color, and then I'm just going to. Start erasing around it slightly, taking out those deeper highlights. And now I can make the brush a little bit harder. and a lower opacity and a little bit smaller. And bring some specifics. To kind of blend them together. Like that. So a lot of the little adjustments to erase it, 
to kind of blend it in. Okay. Now that, that shows little things that I can fix on my foreground rocks. It shows me these little highlights that now don't make sense anymore that I couldn't tell before. So I can just nip those off so that everything feels believable. All right, it's a good time to save it. Save as a PSD. And then just to keep my file organization, I can move it from my downloads, this latest one, to my folder. Mark it as green. That is now my latest version. Notice I have my older version here, and it just depends how much memory you want to use. You can keep older versions. I am going to keep that older version because it's before I cropped. And now I am going to close this, close Photo P, and reopen it. I don't want to have any programs open that I don't need to have open. So if you notice that something's slowing down, that could be a good way to deal with it. I'm going to take the one I've marked green, the latest one, open from there. Okay. So now moving into the middle ground, you can use my auto select to find it. I have this mountain, but this mountain is made of a few things because it's got the collar on it. And then I've got this rock that's in the middle of it. So how can I adjust the mountain so that all of its colors match? What I can do is use that kind of selection trick that we were using for our exercises. And I'll zoom in so you can see it. So I'm going to select on the color of the mountain. And then I'm going to use the magic wand to select the empty space around that layer. Okay. Then I am going to reverse the selection. So now it is inverted. So now it's selecting everything that's in that layer. Then I'm going to move that selection to my rock layer. So you can see it. And then I'm going to delete from the rock. Like so. Okay, so let me deselect. So I still have the collar. Come on, show. Of the mountain, of the volcano, overlapping the rock. But now I've also cut away from the rock. And that allows me to move my, my layers of mountain together. because I know the placement and the size I want now. So now the whole mountain is together. And you can see that the bottom of the, the rock is there. And I'll, I'll deal with that next. So right now I just want to worry about that mountain.
Yeah.